Today is a very special day. Sarinda is 79. So on this day, 79 years ago, she was launched for the very first time. She's quite old, isn't she? Poor girl. But hopefully the work that we're doing, she'll be able to do another 79 years. So let's go and crack on with some boat work. So we've got Robbo with us today and he's outside uh, cleaning up a knee for us. Hi. I need to do some learning in a bit. Learning? What do you need to learn? I need to learn how to get them out. Okay. All right. So just whacking in another sister stringer because uh, Simon wasn't too happy about this little bit here. So we're just going to sister it all the way along. So the beginning of this episode, 
I was like, I was a zombie. Well, our, our illness was like really illness. Our cold, it killed me. Anyway, man flu. Man flu, being dramatic, aren't I? Let's carry on. Right, so today, well, early on in this episode, I think we changed this one, right, Gemma? Yep. I wasn't really with it, so <laughs> we changed that one. So we don't need to keep moving off now, don't we? So we need to take this web frame out, let's get this knee out, because so Gemma can do magic. And then we need to continue with the frames behind. But what we need to do now is actually steam these these frames here because they've got a really, really, really sort of pronounced curve to them. So we're going to try and steam a couple of them today. So when we get the steamer hot, it retains a lot of heat, I think. So we're going to then sort of try and steam as many as we can today. And then we'll have this side finished in no time. So, let's get steaming. So as per usual, typical British day, visible and raining. But it's pretty cold, but it's not frozen today, so that's better. As you can tell, it's been on for 20 minutes or so. Shove it in. Get our preformed plastic cup. Nothing goes to waste on this boat. So what we need to do now is monitor the water. So I'm actually going to get this 100% because what we've done in the past is let it run out. When it runs out, it switches itself off. So, And then we'll... Um, Check the time as well. So what's Gemma doing? I'm um, tidying up all the sealant. Oh, there that's go. oozed out. So yeah, and then because when we steam the red frame, we don't want it kicking out on that when we clamp it up. So I'm just going to have a little tidy up as cool. I do. It's not easy to work until once it once it's already already dried. Yeah. All right. So while John is doing that, I'm going to be removing the knee while we're waiting for the the um, the oak upstairs to steam. So we've already pre-cut the second and the third one. So this one and this one uh, ready to ready to go in because it's quite difficult sometimes to actually get them in. So we we actually cut them to the pre-line. We've selected the top and the bottom. But it's mad how, so you can see how straight it is compared to the hull. So that's basically why we have to steam. Right, let's remove this knee. Are you guys ever proud of my wife? I am. Look at her, she's just so like... Most people, man or woman, wouldn't, wouldn't be doing this, would they? They wouldn't be like halfway climbing up the hull and... Especially cutting. the day after Boxing Day. The day after Boxing Day. But this this is the dedication we've got to um, bringing bringing this vessel back to life, dear. Um, I, re I read I read something some somewhere the other day, and it was um, um, amateurs built the Ark, and professionals built the Titanic. Do you know, like? And it kind of made me think. Yeah, we're not perfect. We're not like we're not fully qualified, super experienced shipwrights, are we? But do you need to be? I don't think you need to be. Do you know what I mean? Especially for what we're doing. France is too strong. Do you know what I mean? She's never going to be beautiful, but I keep, yes, she is. I keep thinking like if it wasn't for us, this 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 surrender would never have. She probably wouldn't have survived up to now. Do you know what I mean? So I really appreciate you being here on this journey with me, Gemma. Basically. Oh. Lovely. We'll give her a kiss, but we'll probably lose the shot. <laughs> Right, come on. That's enough soppiness for Soppiness, one day. soppy it's Simon right. today. Got my heart up on my sleeve. Can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? Got the kick and never move, and I thought it's like a fool for you. For you. Wish I knew just what it was, but why should I make a fuss? Just stay next to me, girl. Next to me, girl. Something special done the rise, something special that.
Okay, so she's been in now for an hour and a half, so you do uh, an hour per inch. So this is an inch and a half thick, so hopefully it's nice and floppy. Is your wood too hot to handle? You always have your clamps ready, shouldn't you? All the way out. So now what we'll do now is, it's not actually following the original web parallel, so we'll just tweak it, because when it goes in, it'll then hopefully go in the same the right angles. So I'm just going to pitch it over that way a tiny bit. And then that should be about it, shouldn't it? Go for a few more clumps. All the clumps at the top, Jim. Yeah, we could do the clamp at the top. Okay, okay. Stops there. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Back in it now. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to steam three more today, and then we're going to leave them a couple of days to dry out before we fit, come back and fit them. Because then they'll all be dry. We can paint them before we put them in. Good job. I love doing these, it's like these old fashioned, I call it old fashioned, but sort of traditional techniques, aren't they? So I think the boat deserves it, doesn't it? One down, two to go? Yay. Right. Let's go and put another piece of wood in the steamer. What number is that one? Number three. How's your plastic cup holding up? Get smaller every time. <laughs> so you might have noticed that we're we're running the generator as well, so just to sort of keep the batteries topped up, because it's like running the kettle, continuously running the kettle, so uh, it's doing well though. It's doing well. More water. First, he's a steam engine, isn't so. it? Have got any more? Yeah, I've got to find some more water. I hope we've got enough for our brew at the end of this, Jim. Water wise. Oh no? <laughs> no? I think what we should do is collect some rainwater for these, um, for these sort of things because we always bring our fresh water over for drinking we always end up using that so maybe we're setting up like a rainwater bucket or something
So what's your next step with your knee? Copperdale's out. Hammer it, grind it, paint it. Cool. Do you need, do you need a hand? Will you help me get the copper nails out? You know I don't enjoy that bit. They're already away. Check that out. Flat battery. Not your job for you there, isn't it? Ooh, slippy. <laughs> well, I think we've got to drill it, haven't we? There's always one, isn't there? Thank you. Most welcome. And so we didn't actually drill it all the way through, then it gave us something to hit, then it drug the rest of it with it, didn't it? So there you go. Right, we'll go and clean it all up. So we are much. That's your mess, that's not my mess. <gasps> is it my mess or is it Gemma's mess? Or is it the knee's mess? It's just general muck, isn't it? It's just muck. I know who's gonna be cleaning it up though. Yeah. I'm going to go and do something over that. Right, so now the um, the next 
web frame is being steamed, we'll continue on removing the the frame behind the web. So you saw me doing the um, the scarf there. So now we'll have to just sort of continue removing all of the bad. Then we can give it a paint then, can't we? So we're basically now just giving it a quick grind back because all the nails sort of stick out and helps us slip it in and It'll stay snug to the hole a moment so there's a slight hind nail, hind nail there. Run your hand over it. Smooth. So you run your hand over it and when your hand doesn't bleed that's yeah. when you know it's done? Yeah, you, know, you know you're finished then. Cool. What are you doing? I'm, um, I'm making a little infill because you <laughs> there was a, a rossy well, let me let me jump over where we put the sister in simon wasn't happy with the bit of rot on the old stringer so he cut it out so i'm making a little infill but because he never cut it off straight I, did, I cut it on an angle on purpose. Okay. Well, I'm, so I'm just, uh, that's what I'm doing. So I'm, I put some masking tape on the angle. Well, go over this way. So I'm going to cut it. So that's what I need to cut this one off at now. Well done. So just to point out, this is basically just a superficial part, basically, because we've already put a sister in, but obviously I didn't want to fill a massive big sort of hole. So we've, we've cut out and we're going to inlay this piece that Gemma's making now and then it'll look pretty and it'll also work on compression won't it so if it's been if your bow is trying to be higher than the stern then it'll it'll help for compression so all good I'm gonna guess it's probably about a 20 degree angle I guess you've already measured it <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Oh God, I'm not holding it. I'm just checking it. Yeah, so that looks about level there. Perfect. I'm going to do it like. Good job. Good job. So that's beautifully cut at 20 degrees at 90 degrees but is my cut down there <laughs> does it line up zero back to zero oh still 27 Will it fit? I'll just send to Gemma, do you want to do a quick test before you film us right now? We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Got confidence. Pretty damn good there, Gem. Yeah. By the time you get the expanding foam out, it'll be fine, won't it? <laughs> there you go. All right, very good. So how are you, go how are you going to... Fit it. I don't know, you asked me to make it, I didn't okay. plan on fitting it as well. How Ow! Got a penny. God, you got that one in good, didn't you? Oh, it's a sure one. Um, Can't reach it. Can you tape it off for me? I will try the water come on. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
Are going to come out? No. <laughs> Oh. oh, yeah. Come on. Hang on. Run! <laughs> Do you remember when you were laughing at me? <laughs> right, I think I'm going to need the hands. Pass the clamp. Yeah. Make sure it stays. Make sure it stays high. That's it. Using every extremity. For the mountain. The man here, just um, <laughs> to come and assess. Yeah. yeah. Two wet frames steamed. Right, better go through the third one in the oven. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna. We've just finished steaming the last wet frame. So Simon's coming down with that now. Get it clamped up really, really quick before it goes cold and hard. So we've got three clamped up. That's a good achievement. We are smashing this. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Serinda. Happy birthday to you. Hey, babe. So, while we're waiting for the steamed frames to dry and set in their shape, I'm going to paint as much hull and frames that don't need doing as possible. Um, obviously, I'm not painting anything where we have to replace woodwork. So, paint your vote time! I'm going to do this on a time lapse so I can listen to my music and have a little boogie. <laughs> so, Watch me paint it really, really fast. Up, up, up in a painted cup, I would pour my love from a cloud above. So bright I can see the lights, taking you up and above the blue sky. Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours. Up, up in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly. Yeah. In this. Almost finished. I do all the paint and then someone comes in last minute to try and take the glory. <laughs> He's like, Oh, you've missed a bit. No, I actually said, I do not want to be that guy who says <laughs> you've missed a bit. I, I hate it. I hate, especially when you're not finished, someone comes along and goes, oh, you've missed a bit. He's like, what are you doing then? <laughs> wow. You've done a good job there. So obviously I haven't gone too down in the bilge because that'll be bilge and locker paint and it's still dirty down there and still a little bit damp, so. But now it's sort of painted, you can see what's more left to do. Obviously, you know, all the web frames are steamed apart from the end one. That one. So we've got that bit there, that bit there. Uh, that web frame's coming out, so that, that bit doesn't matter. And I think there's a bit of frame maybe behind this web frame that needs doing. You only know when you start digging into it, don't you? Yeah. And we know sort of behind the beam shelf, the very, very tops of some of the frames are suspects, but we'll only really know when we when we take all all the deck up. So But considering we've only really just started, 
in this That's area. What it feels like to us, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Look. Yeah. Got two little sections to go. Yeah. So but, yeah. I mean, this is going to be the general consensus throughout the boat now. It's going to be okay. There's one there. There's one there. Right. A lot of repair there. So hopefully, the hull in the next three years will be finished. <laughs> Think I'm joking, don't you? <laughs> oh my. Thank you all so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done already, as it really helps the channel out. See you all next week.